Hi everyone, this is Matthew Alo. In this video, I will take you through projects that will help you become more proficient in Microsoft Excel and prepare you for any Excel test or exam. This video will also help you pass Microsoft Office Specialist Excel 2019 and Excel 365 exam. Now, task 1. In the Annual Sales Worksheet, use the Find and Select tool to find the cell in the Open Spreadsheet that contains conditional formatting and apply a tick outside border. In the Annual Sales Worksheet, use the Find and Select tool to find the cell in the Open Spreadsheet that contains conditional formatting and apply a tick outside border. So to do this, on the Home tab in the Editing group, you have the Find and Select command and the conditional formatting. So to apply a tick outside border, the tick outside border is located on the Home tab in the Font group. So here you have the tick outside border, then click need okay yes question oh correct task two use the auto sum tool to get the sum of the values for each cell b through f in the total row Use the auto sum tool to get the sum of the values for each cell B through F in the total row. So to do this, we select B16 and through F16. So on the home tab in the editing group, we have the auto sum. We click on auto sum, so the sum is calculated. Okay. Correct. Task three. In the review worksheet, use the concatenate function to display the content of cell V4 and A4 separated by space in cell J4. In the review worksheet, use the concatenate function to display the contents of this of cell B4 and A4 separated by space, separated by space in cell J4. In the review worksheet, use the concatenate function to display the content of cell V4 and A4 separated by space in cell J4. So now we click on cell J4 and on the formula tab, formula tab in the function library group we click the insert function command. So here we type concatenate, concatenate. And click OK. So here you enter so B4 separated by space, so we add the space, then A4. So concatenate function is just used to join our text together. So you can see. So we'll join text together. So the two texts, Cain and Abel. Cain Abel. So one is in cell uh, B4, the other one in cell A4. So you can see it as separated by space. So you click OK. So let's move the next question. Correct. Task 4. In the June worksheet, 
Use autofill to extend the series starting in the cell A4 to the cell A33. In the June worksheet, use autofill to extend the series starting in the cell A4 to the cell A33. In the June worksheet, use autofill to extend the series starting in the cell A4 to the cell A33. So you click on cell A4 and select up to cell A33. Then on the home tab in the editing group, you have fill. Then you select series and OK. So that is done. Correct. Task 5. In the June worksheet, apply table style like 4 to the cells A3 through D34. In the June worksheet, apply table style like 4 to the cells A3 through D34. So, select the June worksheet. So, to the cell, cells A3 through D34. Select A3 through D34. Okay. Then table style like 4. So on the home tab in the styles group, you have format as table. So under light, you have table style like 4. Okay, you click OK. Correct. Task 6. In the annual sales worksheet, apply a link to the title Fusion Tomorrow Inc. that is incorporated that links to the website www.fusiontomo.com in the annual sales worksheet apply a link to the title Fusion Tomo Inc that is incorporated that links to the website www.fusiontomo.com so to do this we alight cell A1 then you click on the insert tab in the links group we have insert link then should be ex existing file or web page so the web address is www.fusiontomo.com click OK. Correct. Task 7. In cell ring B16 to F16, set the style of the cell with the following characteristics. Number format equal to currency font equals to Korean new fill color equals to yellow in cell range B16 to F16 set the style of the cell with the following characteristics number format equals to currency font equals to Korean new fill color equals to yellow so to do this select cell b16 to f16 b16 b16 to f16 so the number format is located on the home tab in the number group so you can set these to number 
then font is Korea new the so font type Korea new press enter then fill color is yellow fill color select yellow okay that is done I've got the next question correct task 8 in the product worksheet change the format of the numbers in cells B8 to E33 so that no decimal places are showing in the product worksheet change the format of the numbers in cells B8 to E33 so that no decimal places are showing so to do this, select cell B8, cell B8 to E33, okay, so come to the home tab in the number group, so this is decrease decimal, so we decrease the decimal until there are no decimal places okay it's done okay correct task 9 change the view to the split screen view change the view to the split screen view so to do this we click on the view tab in the window group we have the split command which divides the window into different panes that each scroll separately okay so we click on that then correct Correct. Task 10. Merge and align right the content in cells A2 through D2 in the June worksheet. Merge and align right the content in cells A2 through D2 in the June worksheet. So we select the June worksheet and select A2 through D2. Then on the home tab in the alignment group, here is the merge and center command. Then you select merge and center. Then align right. Align right. Okay. Correct. Correct. I believe you have learned a lot from the video. So to keep getting this kind of video, Ensure you click on the subscribe button and drop your comment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye